Noble beating Ackland there. Goglin's handball ends up with Fiora to pick it. Long ball, yeah. Milne doubling back, Milne with courage. Great man. He put his body on the line there, War one, but now can get the rewards. There, no, really, but uh, once he was there, he put his body on the line like everyone else. He's been a straight shooter this year. 12 goals, two now, and the Saints have the lead. Till uh, the second half. Here's Aaron Hamill driving it long to Gehrig with a couple to beat. Good fist by Gasper. Now Ozzy Jones wheels onto the trusty left. Drives a bullet at Goddard. Too far out to goal, but he is a penetrating kick. He's got Maguire, who's floated forward. He's going to make the Tigers work, and he's marked well. Matthew Maguire without a goal this year. Inside 50. Nine goals for his career in 51 matches. It's double figures now. Good start to St Kilda. The Goose kicks one. The supporters are excited. And a backman always runs to the defensive end faster after he has kicked a goal. Be fair to Richo. Both holding Noble there. in front getting first hand to it. Peck it for Hayes. They're away. Fiora, good user on his right side. Close. Got it. The former Tiger. The Saints have kicked four goals in seven minutes. Continuing from where they left off last week. It's not so much the goals. And just spears the pass out, and Kaczynski slipping, but somehow hanging onto it. And we know he's had back problems in the past. Would have been an anxious moment. Jones to the outer wing. Paul and Hamill, going to be a good job. Oh, boy, Kellaway, you can't do that. Three, advantage, play on. Hayes, away. Long ball to the top of the square. Ackland caught behind. Jackson knocking it down. Milne does this better than anyone. Oh, he handballed it. Peckett's going to kick the goal. Well done, Mill. He's got it. Well, he needed convincing. He did not sound like a man that was certain the ball had gone over these elongated posts. That was good interchange for the big men. They just could not find the mark close enough to go. And now you have to watch the Saints on the rebound. The acting captain ball to Kaczynski. Has the height advantage on Hyde. Had his name all over it. Chips it forward. Here's Baker. Plays on. Hayes. Dangerous. Destructive. Six in a row for the Saints. Del Santo, Harvey, Hayes have all started the game terrifically well. We said that this, this game would be won through the midfield. Richmond forwards being on fire, but unfortunately the ball just hasn't come down there with any fluency at this stage, and it's all St Kilda. Yeah, they just look uh, in a different league, don't they, through the middle of the ground. Andrew Thompson coming on also for his first run. And you're right, uh, Wayne, about the G-Train. I was having a look at him just uh, going back. He looked more like the Puffing Billy than the G-Train. <laughs> he was really doing it tough. Oh, who's feeding him those lines? <laughs> like you and Jason on Saturday Central, way. Let's laugh a minute. Yes. 28 points at Kilda's lead. Tuck, Noble, high. Deep. Can they get a mark up for it? Brown waiting down for the quick reply. No histrionic celebrations for the Tigers for the time being. Put the finger in the dike and get one back. Well, I think that just about uh, proves the whole midfield issue. Where uh, Wayne was in the boundary line. If they can get the ball into this forward line quickly enough and often enough, I think they've got the forward structure to kick a winning score. But the evidence today suggests it's not going to happen. Couldn't agree any more, Jared. What that does is the quick kick from Chris Hyde gives Matthew Richardson and the other tall guys a bit of an opportunity without numbers from St Kilda getting back, flooding the forward line for Richmond and then running the ball out. And as we saw there, it doesn't have to be the, the prettiest kicker on Mark. Nathan Brown capitalises. The scramble, and we'll have another bounce. And that's exactly why Nathan Brown's a superstar. They need a goal. He's the one that stands up and kicks it. 12 for the year now. 
for the 27 year old yeah plenty of players we might get another bounce here relax out relax still loose man in defense for richmond mark graham at the moment it's not simmons it's not simmons Kaziski winning it down. He's hide again under pressure. Gone. Pickett with the tackle. Tibbendale's caught by Pickett oh. high. Umpire's well in control early. A volatile atmosphere under the closed roof. Waiting in the middle. Here's Chaffee. Coming up on five minutes remaining in the opening term. He's had a great uh, start to the year, Chris Hyde. He really has run himself into the ground, and I'm not sure if uh, he starts slowly, but he looks a bit ragged at the present time, and he's on loop ball. And this is St Kilda's loose player, Raphael Clark. And he's a good user of the ball. Saints with the last nine hitouts as Del Santo on the outer wing sweeps the hand pass inside for Xavier Clark with the red and white boots. Driving it long, Gehrig in the danger zone for the Tigers. Milne waiting down. Goal square unguarded. A behind. Very much like the game last night, one where the Crows uh, had plenty of free ball coming into their forward line. Because I think the Bulldogs elected to zone back too early. As soon as they lost the ball, they charged back. So they then had to stop the ball on the last 30 metres rather than still maintaining some pressure through the middle of the ground, trying to force an error there. She risky kick in by Newman might cough up possession Kaczynski bouncing one Gehrig Newman's second effort good and the third one good as well but Tivendale is still under pressure Chaffee no mark ball emerges has been dacked with his backside showing couldn't kick the goal that would have been something a strip show as well as a goal definitely hard to do kick the ball when your pants are down I'll take your word for it <laughs> Tuck's got it on half back. Long to the wing. No ball. Strong hands. Well, the big men, Richmond, have to dominate this match because at the moment at ground level, they just don't look capable of coping with the physical pressure of St Kilda. Good kick, Simmons, to the first-year player, Delidio. Stafford one out. Goes wider than that, Brown and Baker. Brown kept his feet. The bounce eludes him. Baker, desperate, terrific. Trapped it in long enough for Jones to free up. He finds Guerra. He gives it to Hayes. Look out, though. You're about to be collared. Good tackle. Kill away it was with the body on. And now gets it back. He's dumped by Del Santo. Tackling is ferocious. Free kick St Kilda, Del Santo. Advantage paid. Clever there, St Kilda. A late advantage call. Lenny Hayes off to the races. Feeding Hamill. Tibbendale closing. Hamill kicking and going. Just pressure through the middle. Too tough. A seven-goal opening turn from the Saints with time remaining. Well, Lenny Hayes is entitled to uh, give whoever give him that handball. I'm not sure who it was, but whoever give him that handball, uh, quite entitled to give him a spray. Hospital. It's a bit of a hospital handball. You don't like to get them. Just going back to that uh, where the ball was turned over, it was a kick to Nathan Brown on the lead. They've got three tall options down there and they elected to kick it to a contest with their smallest bloke who's a world-class crummer. Didn't make sense to me. Saints with seven goals, seven goal kickers, none of whom are Fraser Garrett. Noble winning it down for high. Hurrying it forward, old Jones, clever. He was strong with the upper body, just knocked it to Harvey. Good tackle by Jackson. Frees up Campbell, the former skipper. Goes for it. Has it got the carry? No. Excellent defensive work down back by Fisher. You have a that? Come back and come away. Yeah, cheers. Don't go well, close. They keep to coming, the Tigers. And Swatter on the boundary line, they uh, Saints are giving that interchange rotation a nice old spin. Yeah, it's not a bad luxury to have though, Jerry, because as Wayne brought up early in the call, one player comes off and a quality, quality player replaces that one. Hudgeton. Now Goddard. Down the centre corridor on a long lead, Hamill. Good spoil by Hall. Kellaway, quick hands. Brown needs to sidestep. 
And Chase sells Howell into trouble. Jackson dumped by Hamill. Harvey putting pressure on. Oh, it's good stuff. The Brown handball was under pressure, it went astray. The Callaway handball was under pressure, it didn't oh, hit the mark, put more pressure on Brown, who had to jump in the air to take it. They are breaking this game apart, the Saints, just by their ground level pressure on Richmond. They're turning the ball over too often. More of that pressure unfolding, free kick going St Kilda's way, Hamill to win it. Inside of two minutes remaining in the first. And Hamill's going to drift it wide, give Gehrig the chance. Right. Callaway again, he's filled the gap several times. We so often talk about Andrew and formerly his brother Duncan and the carriage from those two players. The former All-Australian Callaway goes for Hall at centre half back. Oh, good vision. Loose man Chappie now needs to find a target here. 60 out to the goal square he goes. Stafford had his name all over it. It was TT. It was Terry's triangle. Well, you saw Richo, who was in the goal square. He let no, out wide. Running, running Stafford down. was at the top, and he went backwards towards the goal square. It worked well. It was fantastic play by Chaffee. He's playing on the gun midfielders of St Kilda, Del Santo and a few others. I think they're rotating there, but I think he is on Del Santo. And Abel, when they're winning the ball, Richmond, he yep. run off, got the ball, and then uh, and then delivered. Fantastic play. You're absolutely right, Wayne. I watched uh, Mark Chaffee there. As soon as Callaway took the mark, he took a risk. And I think the Tigers need to take a few more of those. He took a risk, bolted away from his opponent, and Del Santo got himself into some space and set up the goal, potentially for Greg Stafford. Former Swan, Greg Stafford, fourth year at Punt Road, close to the man on the mark that he probably needed to be, but it doesn't matter. Pops it into the second tier for a second. And the Tigers are back within 22 points in the final minute of the opening term. Well, I reckon in any other era, you would have seen the, the chaffy kick go to Richo, who is currently leading wide to the boundary line. He favours his left foot, straightens him up, and there's Stafford coming down from 40 metres out in front of goal, taking the space. And it was a good kick because it favoured the bloke at the back, which was Greg Stafford. More importantly, to have the confidence to go to the top of the square and know your key forward's going to give you a contest. Easier to kick them from there than 40 metres out on the acute. Needed that one. Just holding on now, the Tigers. And they've got 50 seconds to try and pinch another. Certainly would not want to concede one, though. And Dal Santo gives Goddard and the Saints a chance. Gehrig the target again. Gasper wearing him well. Kellaway about to be under siege from Hamill. Hamill does brilliantly. Gehrig caught. Milne lurking. Dangerous. Oh my, he is good, isn't he? Milne, he's got his second. Saints have eight for the opening turn. Just getting sliced open at the centre bounce. It's just coming out way too easy. And Terry Wallace will be filthy on them conceding that goal he wouldn't have minded going in four down but to concede the momentum they build up with the Greg Stafford goal and the confidence with a couple of lame efforts in the forward in the defensive half look at the tackles that he has broken through there you called him the puffing Billy before he was the G train then yeah, he was supercharged then he just needed to uh, rest old puffing <laughs> in their last three quarters now St Kilda have kicked 22 goals I think back in town is the phrase most applicable Still have time here, one way or the other. Free kick, going St Kilda's way. Advantage, no, he's going to bring it back now. Could him hold the face, 17 seconds, still time. Voss waiting for it on the wing. Down to 10 seconds, this will be the important ball. Can he get it to goal scoring range and a mark? Not aware of the time, obviously. And that will run down for quarter time. The Saints, 8-2, the Tigers, 3-4. Well, it's just an impressive start by St Kilda. We know that Richmond marked the ball with their tools a couple of times to generate three goals, but uh, it was just so impressive by Richmond. Their midfield pressure is superb. We know they've got a potent forward line. They dominated the centre clearances. They dominated the contested ball at the stop plays, and uh, they 
are uh, a, a most outstanding unit playing pretty good football after a slow start to the season. Their big guns all winning plenty of the footy. Hayes, Del Santo and Harvey with 20 possessions between them. Quarter time at the Dome. Some work for Terry Wallace. Saints in control. Tighten up there. Looked like a definite free kick to me. Gasper looked almost like he was train surfing. <laughs> Get off surfing, Terry. Oh, no oh, Play on, no 15. Bowden's gone. That's good pressure again. And to finish, ball with a goal. Their tackling has been terrific. It's resulting in turnovers, it's resulting in goals, and Luke Ball, the acting captain, joins the party. Hot spot, can they get a mark this time? No. McGuire in a purple patch. And look at that. Good poise. Finds Fiora. Now, the video is quick and he's closing fast. Fiora finds Peckett. Run! He's off. He goes to Goddard. Back arena, thanks. Awaiting the lead. Loose man Fiora kept on running. Got it. Now, he is a very good kick, but you fancy he'd be two metres too far Run out. The line, well, you have to give him credit there. He ran from uh, basically half back to, to the 50 metre line. It could have been used with a handball. He kept leading, 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 eventually got it. Great work rate. And right now, the tie is just looking a little bit one dimensional with the long bomb to Greg Stafford. They, and I think that gets back to the class of your midfielder bringing it in, being able to oh, determine thanks. whether or not it's a viable option to go long or whether or not they're just too many numbers back and you have to find somebody short. Well, there's only one man holding them up, and that's Maguire. Do you send a Richmond player down to play on Maguire as, a, as another forward? Get him out of there. Fiora, we mentioned he's a good kick. Has it got the carry, though? Yes, just got there! He's second, and an impressive goal. Pretty much coming against the flow, and it's eased that margin out to 38 points. Tigers did well to win out there, but Tivendale's kick won't reach the safety of the boundary line. Baker, wonderful ball for ball. Let him go, Greg! Let him go, play on! Now Ozzy Jones. He usually creates something, gives it to space for Gary. Oh, that's a brilliant pass. Memo to Mike Sheehan, not a bad left foot kick to Fraser on the lead. Didn't make his top ten. No. But uh, great to see, great to see a guy like... Uh, now, now I've uh, forgotten his name. Ozzy, get onto his left foot and bring it back towards the centre. Not go directly towards goal, bring it to the what uh, coaches like to call the fat side. But it, if that gets spoiled, it goes up the middle. But great kick. And Garrick should go. He's first. Go Saints indeed. Probably uh, one of the only times that he's got a... He's just thinking, hang on, I've got 45 seconds usually, but now I'm on the back line. What's this hurry up business? Didn't that become a talking point during the week? Guerra. Fiora, he's a great kick on the run. If he doesn't pass it, you're back into drilling. He decides to pass and Hamill, now just a question of accuracy. They've been caught out about three times already tonight, St Kilda, where there's a pack formed and you saw Noble belt the ball forward. Well, they always have one bloke just lurking back towards the goal into space. That time it was Fiora. He ends up getting the ball uh, on the transfer. He's free. No one's going with him. Here's Guerra. Finds him. He's just pushed out the back. Good football. People would call it cheating. It's not cheating. That is just smart football. And sets up a goal. His second. Saints answer. Lead 38 points. We're into time on of the second term. And good, and good to see, sorry, Wayne. Good to see Aaron Hamill actually getting some easy yeah. ball. We know that he always gets a contested ball. He's, he's uh, buffeted each week. but Nearly for Brown. Not quite. Baker wearing him well. Bringing him down. Fairly, said the umpire. Ozzie Jones. It didn't really sting the Tigers if the Saints get one going the other way. Del Santo for Gehrig. Got it one handed. And that half chance to Nathan Brown summed up their quarter. They've had so many of those opportunities, just, just haven't been able to stick them that they will go in at half time uh, staring at a pretty ordinary scoreboard. Now let's talk about this magnet. 
Fraser, as a left footer, Fraser would normally kick this at the left-hand goal post. Natural left footer would have uh, left to right swing. Yep. I believe he has to hit at the right one. It'll come back the other way, as we see there. Exactly what I said a left footer should do. And that's what he did. The new Professor Sunder Miller in the Fox Footy Sunday broadcast booth. Why is it so? Gehrig's kicked the Saints 13th. He's got his second for the quarter. 13 4 to 5 8. Oh, the middle opens the door for Kaczynski. Can't hang on to it. Hamill working with Harvey. Hall, good tackle. Ball flicked out. Del Santo. She just doesn't give up. And Milne's got space. The dangerous one. The creative one. What's he going to do? Feed Ozzy Jones. He should drill it and does. Saints answer to the opening Bowden goal and extend the lead to 46 points. It was a great goal by Ozzy Jones, but Milne was uh, waiting for Big Fraser. But again, the disposal, the field disposal, letting them down. Forwards must be so frustrated. Raf Clark out wide. Sixth sense finds Xavier. Long ball inside the 50. Tigers loose man is Hall. He slipped into that. Stephen Milne slips out of danger. Unguarded. Goal square. Thank you. Got it. Oh, what a celebration. Milne, he's pumped. He's got his third. Well, that's what he's there for. We know that uh, he's an opportunist, but he's there. Fraser makes a fantastic contest. Two on one. Well, he provide some class. Not there. Fiora. Runs into traffic, sits up Hayes, he got it out quickly for Xavier Clark. Touch ball, touch ball, Fraser, touch ball, Fraser. Got it to Goddard. Can Milne get number four? Oh, he lays it off for Clark. That was brilliant stuff, Stevie. And what is even better to see, he's equally as excited with Xavier Clark kicking the goal his first of the season. The great thing about that handball was he did not give it a second thought. It is up to 54 points, starting to get ugly indeed for Richmond. Here they come again, Baker. No free kick. Gehrig up quickly. Been a good battle, that one, Gasper yep. and Gehrig. Baker getting it again. Harvey in support. Baker goes himself. Here they go, Gehrig and Gasper. Free kick this time. It's a logical approach, is it a timing issue? Who grabbed who first? Well, years ago that uh, that would have been let go. And this is one of the things, I think that was a fantastic decision. Gasper was the one that put his two hands around Fraser Gehrig to start the contact. And uh, there's, there'd be a few players uh, around the league that would uh, take note of that because uh, there are a few... Uh, few Defenders of yesteryear that got a lot got away with that a lot interesting your interpretation I reckon that Steve Silvani would have a different one Exactly right the lead is now ten goals Fraser has kicked three But it is one of those difficult decisions that umpires have to make <laughs> <laughs> They'll be able to reflect on their war wounds later Goddard emerging Play from Goddard. Play on the call. Boss, he kicked four last week. He's kicking here for us. He kicked four last week, and he's got one today as well. Advantage paid. It's becoming a party for the Saints here. Yeah, it's moved into the shellacking category. And it was wise words from the umpire there, just letting... Pop With the hands of the trainers and Newman coming off. Ozzie Jones, for the time being, Tigers a man down. As if they needed anything extra, and that's the man who was picking up Stephen Mill. Chris Newman, really knocked about right near you, Wayne. Yeah, look, he got cleaned up when Stephen Mill feigned to play on there. He didn't, uh, Chris Newman didn't see Stephen Baker picking him off and just got Polex down the middle of the chest there. But look, a little bit winded, but certainly got cleaned up well and truly by Stephen Baker. Oh, crunch. Thanks, Wayne. Thanks, Stephen, said Chris. Stephen Mill now with three goals, two to his credit. Now has 15 for the year. 
That's a pretty good effort for a small forward to have 15 goals at this stage of the year, but Warwick will fall short of that, you would think. Although Baker's going to try and set something up from centre half back. He's got a loose man in Fiora on the outer wing. And his 16th possession, a good one, finds Guerra. That was a magnificent field kick. Would have travelled the best part of 45 metres. It was perfect. I said not too long ago that Terry Wallace would be looking for the Tigers to show a bit of fight and actually uh, actually make Light this out. into a bit of a dog fight, maybe even win the quarter, but they're finding far too much space uh, on the wings and also forward for my liking. Guerra without a goal today, kicked 29 goals, five last season in his 18 matches, which indicates he's a straight shooter. And there is exhibit B. The lead is out to 70 points as we hit the ground level with Wayne. Clinton, uh, Jackson. Charging through, but don't argue. And St Kilda win the free. Advantage play on Xavier Clark. He's too quick for Graham. He delivers low. Gehrig on the lead. Milne at the back. He's going to kick number five. <laughs> or as he kicks it like that, perhaps we should say, goal! Stephen Milne. He was miles ahead of anybody uh, else on the field. He knew what was happening. Just as I think it was... Possession one, and he's... And six of those today. Voss on the wing, going short for Yora. Good game against his old club. Right going to the pocket for Gehrig. Got it. He's kicked three. And that is mark number six. No, 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 he's not off. He's not off. He's not off. Fraser might have wanted to play on there for a little bit. But look, that space uh, on that side of the ground was left there for quite some time. And one of the good things about St Kilda is the discipline that they have within their forward line. They lead in and out of space. You saw Milne lead into that exact spot, realising, no, I've got to get out now. He got out, which allowed Fraser to lead into it and take a uh, take a nice mark. And kick. Goal number four. Let's got Lucas uh, query whether or not he played on or not. Let's get back to how we played against Fremantle last week. I think it just establishes where there are in their football uh, rebuilding phase, and that is uh, a long way from the top, but certainly they've put a ceiling underneath them at the bottom. Impressive win for St Kilda, 68 points, the final margin, one of their best against Richmond. 22-15. To 11 goals, 13. And despite the disparity in the scoreline, still an entertaining struggle here. The AFL's Anzac the Twilight fixture, a success by way of the roller. Grant Thomas, well, very happy with things back on track. 45 goals in back to back weeks and wins over Melbourne and Richmond. Darren Gasper, how did you assess his duel? Four goals to Gary Gasper's 200th game. He worked hard. He did. I, I think both players uh, would figure, figure in their best players for their uh, respective clubs. I thought Darren Gasper, by virtue of uh, the amount of time the ball came down there and how quickly and easily it came down at times, did an outstanding job in his 200th. Gehrig's a top-line player and he held him to four goals. That's a darn good job. And uh, he'd be well pleased with his performance. Yeah, I thought he played a terrific uh, game on, on Garrick. Look, the amount of times and uh, the way the ball was coming into their forward line, for Garrick only to kick four goals, I think uh, Gasper's done a good job in his 200th, so congratulations. And congratulations to Matthew Richardson as well. Made a point of going over and retrieving the football there to ensure that he gives it to Darren Gasper. It may not be a successful milestone match, but it's a milestone nonetheless. Well done, Richo, giving that to Darren Gasper. Nick Del Santo, a star. Here he is with Wayne. 68. Oh, that might be a good start. Turn the microphone on, Nick. But 68 point win. You would have taken a 11 goal win coming into the match. Oh, definitely. Uh, we just needed anything today. Um, Richmond's been in great form. Had three wins in a row. So we, uh, we just had to try and just get over the line. That's the way it worked out. Saints got off to a slow start up to round three. Got the game going, especially second half last week. Terrific performance to get the game going early and then finish it off this afternoon. Yeah, we were a little bit slow. Probably uh, still a little bit of sleep from uh, last year. And 
probably not in the best form uh, and fitness-wise at the start of the year, but we've uh, hit a little bit of form, which is good, and hopefully we can continue it. What was said when Matt McGuire and Chris Hyde had that sickening collection? What was the talk amongst the playing group? Uh, we just wanted to stay composed. Obviously, you know, incidents like that, you can get a little bit uh, over the top. So we just wanted to uh, stick to our game plan, just keep running it, and uh, so I worked out. Enjoy the win. I'm sure you want to go and check on Matt McGuire. Well done, Nick. Thanks a lot. Nick Dow Sando, 17 kicks, 7 hand passes for 24 possessions, 4 marks. Kicked a goal as well. All smiles for the camp at Moorabbin, and why not? And I think the camp at Moorabbin uh, are a testimony to what Richmond are about to go through, and that is you have to stay down at the bottom. You're going to pay for, uh, I guess, uh, those number one draft picks and uh, the low draft picks uh, with a lot of losses in, in successive years, etc. They, uh, with, under Danny Frawley, they went up to play off in a preliminary final and uh, probably got ahead of themselves in their recruiting, w recruited for the Premiership rather than keep continuing to build for the long-term absolute crack at a flag. And you see St Kilda, who have done exactly that, have never, ever wavered off the line of uh, trying to get the best young player in the draft, the best young player outside the draft or from another club. And uh, their time is now in front of them. And they, along with West Coast, have followed a similar discipline. And uh, Port Adelaide, I guess, who are still around the market, um, probably coming to the other end of the, uh, the Premiership cycle, um, are going to fight it out at the end of the season. Melbourne have done a similar thing. Neil Banner was challenged uh, for his position almost when he elected to go back um, look for some key position players like Brad Miller in the draft and uh, they copped, had a bad year but finally now that's all coming together for a few of those clubs. Final score at the Dome 22-15, 147 the Saints, the Tigers 11-13 79, many of you leaving us now, if you'd like to stay with us, digital subscribers press red for the after match media conferences, for everyone else let's hear the Saints sing this song